Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Look at this makeup, you guys. This is like the perfect everyday, like bridal makeup. Like if you were just going out into the world and you were like, I wanna feel nude goddess, it's gonna go ahead and be this look. I'm so excited because today we are doing a video going over everything Beauty Pie, including the breakdown of their membership, how it works and doing an entire full face of Beauty Pie makeup. I wanna give a big thank you to Beauty Pie for sponsoring this video. If you are new here, I talk about skincare, makeup, mental health vlogging hauls, and I've talked about Beauty Pie a few times on my channel and on my other pages. I also post on Instagram and TikTok, quick plug. And I'm really, really excited to break this down for you guys. I have a lot of friends who are Beauty Pie members, so I was immediately intrigued because I have a lot of similar tastes to them. So let's talk about what Beauty Pie is. So Beauty Pie is actually a membership club for beauty lovers, luxury luxury makeup lovers, luxury skincare lovers. So members get a better price on all of the products available on the Beauty Pie website. These are luxury quality cosmetics and skincare fragrances, beauty products, including candles, like everything you can think of without the middleman and retailer cost. Essentially, the products that are being made in luxury warehouses are coming direct to you through Beauty Pie. Does that make sense? So annual members pay $59 a year and get basically 75% off of all retail on the website. You can also purchase products on Beauty Pie on your own, but you are paying much more than you would if you are a member. So throughout the video, I am going to list the actual price and the member price of each product that we talk about. And if you like any of the products that I'm mentioning, I do have links for all of them down below, as well as a coupon code with Beauty Pie. It's code Rudy sent me that gives you $10 off your first annual membership for all new members. Today we are going through concealer, blush, highlighter, lip products, eyeshadow products, mascara, eyebrows, like pretty much everything you can think of. And I'm really, really excited because there are some products in here that you just need to know about. You need to know them. I feel like it is the industry's best kept secret that we are now exposing to the world because you deserve to know about it. So if you're interested in Beauty Pie, you have questions on Beauty Pie, or you want to see some of the best products that they offer right now, keep on watching. I'm very excited. Okay, so as I mentioned, some of these I have tried, some of these I have not. One thing that I haven't tried yet that we are going to start with is the Beauty Pie Everyday Great Skin Concealer. This is supposedly a matte concealer. I did swatch it and I didn't get that vibe, but it's very much a blurring, erasing imperfections. I'm reading off of the website. Illuminating nourishes, highlights with shea butter, olive fruits, and hyaluronic acid. I received two shades, one 50 shell and 300 beige. So let's give them a little swatch and see which one works better. I've also been kind of using two concealers recently to help with general coverage on the skin and then also highlighting. So instead of using a foundation, this is what I'm gonna use today. They're pretty similar, to be honest. This one is shell and this one is beige. I'm also going to pop up on the screen the price for each of these products so you can see how deep of a discount you would get in the membership versus if you're buying off the website as one off. The other thing that I want to show you that we're going to use to apply a lot of this makeup today are these sponges that they sent. These are the Flawless Foundation Blending Sponges and it comes in a cutie little pack. It comes with two sizes, a medium and a large. So here you can see the size difference. This one is the large and this one is the medium. I just put this one in water and this is a large size. So now you can really see the difference when you blow up one of them. They are so freaking soft. So, so, so soft, obvious like sponge shape that we're all used to. I also love that these come in sort of lighter shades, which I know not a lot of people like light colors when it comes to their sponges, but the truth is a lot of these sponges that have dye in them end up, I don't know, like bleeding while you're cleaning them. And to me, I don't like that because I'm wondering if I'm getting some of that on my face while I'm using it. So the fact that these are really light and even white, you're not gonna get any of that bleeding when you're actually cleaning the sponge. I also love that it comes in a pack with so many because you should be changing out your sponges way more than you are, girl, way more. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this, the shade Shell and see how that goes. And if I need to add some of beige, I will. I'm just gonna start with this much and see how it looks. And I have very tired under eyes today. 
I don't know, I, I do know why. My husband's been out of town all weekend and I just don't sleep very well without him. So this is really going to be put to the test. Let me tell you. So that's one light layer of the shade Shell. I'm thinking I might mix the two and just go all over the face and just have it as my coverage for the day. I would say this definitely has more of a natural matte finish and it's a lighter coverage, which I really like because then it's like, I don't know, you have the opportunity to use other products on top of it to add a little bit more of an illumination, but it's still a lighter coverage. It's not very often that you find a product that is light to medium coverage and matte. Usually it's one or the other. And you could see before I had like a lot of redness right here on my cheek. It's completely gone, so that's very nice. That color match was pretty much perfect in the shade beige, 300 beige. So if you are near my skin tone, that is definitely one that's going to work for you. This is one light layer. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more under the eyes and in any places where I feel like I want to cover a little bit more redness and see how it looks. Looking up close, this looks super, super, super natural. I really like it. I think right now my under eyes are gonna just be this way because I'm really tired. And this is normally what my under eyes would look like when I'm really tired. So if I need to go back in and add more after I kind of play with a few more things, I will. But if you are someone who's looking for a lightweight, natural finish concealer that is more mattifying, definitely does not need to be set, but doesn't feel dry, I think you would really like these. I would typically go for a more luminous coverage, but honestly, with the way that it is right now outside being so freaking hot I could definitely see myself using those again and they worked very well with the sponge I did not have a beauty pie bronzer on hand so I just used a powder bronzer that I really love and it sat beautifully on top of these concealers and I did not set them with any powder and the powder bronzer looks really nice on top so that is a great option okay next up we are going to test a cream blush. This is the Super Cheek Cream Blush in the shade Bare Blush. I would consider these to be cream to powder blushes, which I've mentioned are the easiest blushes for beginners. Look at that pigment. It's absolutely beautiful, but look how easily it blends into like a sheer wash. So you're really not going to overdo it with these. There's no way to overdo it with these, which is really, really nice, especially if you're just figuring out cream products. And because it has more of a cream to powder finish, it's really going to blend in with the rest of your makeup, whether it's cream or powder. You know what I mean? It's just great. They are great, especially for summer when it's hot and stinky and sweaty, stinky could be stinky out. Now I have used this formula before. I recommend going in with a brush. You could easily use your fingers as well, but to me, a brush gives you the most even coverage and it is so easy to just slap it on and it gives you this beautiful wash of color. This shade I think would be absolutely universally flattering. This is like the perfect sort of nudie pink flush on the cheeks. It is like more mauve leaning, but it just looks very natural. And I think that this works best with like a nude lip. It just makes you look like sort of everyday bridal. You know what I mean? Everyday bridal. And I've been putting just a little bit of my blush on my nose with my finger instead of doing the W, which I've talked about in past videos, like instead of putting my blush every freaking wear, I've just kind of been putting it doot, 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 here, here, and then taking my finger and running it along the bridge of my nose. I need to put some clips in y'all. Just so natural and so beautiful. Easily layerable, and I also think this is small enough that you could bring it with you on the go if you wanted to reapply. I've also used this on my lips before. It's totally versatile, so this shade, Bare Blush, it's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. The next thing that I am absolutely most excited about and that if you are going to buy anything from this video, it should absolutely be this. This is the Beauty Pie Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. This is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. This is newer to me. I got this from them within the last month and I've been waiting to share it with you. I have been wearing it all the time. I've talked about this on my TikTok. It's stunning. It is the most perfect champagne shade with just like this hint of sheen. Look at this. Look at this. 
It's like a gold and a silver infused in one. It's perfect and I think that it would work on all skin tones because it has more of a clear, transparent base to it. From the website, it says that it has soft blur microspheres and ultra glow coated pearls for a natural looking glow without the glitter, which is exactly what I would go for. Typically when I use a glow wand like this, I like to apply it to the back of my hand and then put it on, but this is so silky and so thin and beautiful that you can just squeeze the tube to get some out of the top. It comes into this little brush and then I just like to dab it on the face and actually use the sponge to help blend it in. It is very user friendly. Oh, like that looks like a lot. Watch this. It's going to blend into just like this beautiful. Oh, this is also something you could easily use your fingers to apply if you want. I'll, I'll do that on the other side so you can see. But like that just blended seamlessly into the skin. Sometimes I'll just go on like this to apply it on my nose or like if I wanna use it in the inner corner. It's gorgeous, you guys. Like this has easily become one of my favorite highlighters and I do think that this is something that comes and goes from their website. So if you are interested in it, I would definitely pick one up. They do have a lot of limited edition drops. So if you say something, say something vibes. This also I feel like is really great to help with under eye darkness. I know that seems weird, but when you do apply highlighter right here underneath your eye it helps reflect that darkness under the eye it just brings light to that area and sorry the sun is going in and out of the clouds but still in the shade look at that it just brings life to the whole face considering we've been using more mattifying products this just like brings everything back it makes you look super dewy and luminous without the feel of being sticky dewy you know and again absolutely no glitter just like a beautiful shimmery sheen freaking love this so much so we've got our base down i think it looks absolutely beautiful and very everyday friendly i have a few options for eyeshadows and i want to talk about them because i think that different people would like different ones so first i'll talk about the ones that i use the most that i have used for a little while now these are eyeshadow sticks they are one of my favorite things from beauty pie i have two shades i have in taupe and wild violet they are so creamy so creamy and these are the perfect perfect everyday shades for people who want a no must no fuss makeup look you can see here this is in taupe it's a matte brown and this is the wild violet which is more of like a shimmery shade these are absolutely stunning they are on the go one and done boom 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 and you can use them with your fingers like just pop them all over the lid blend out with your fingers so that's an option for today and the other option are these beautiful eyeshadow quads that they made with very renowned makeup artist james malloy these are made in italy they feel so luxurious as i've mentioned a lot of this stuff is truly luxury makeup that has been cut down to a fraction of the price so you're still getting that feel, that luxurious feel in the packaging and the experience as you would with a high end, more expensive brand. So here are two of the palettes. I mean, these are absolutely stunning. I'm really, really drawn to them. Some of the description is that they offer bold, sexy, subtle looks depending on how you apply them, formulated with amazing matte and buttery, shimmery, high color release finishes, concentrated pigments and long wear, green talc-free technology made in Italy. These are stunning. They're just named after him with numbers. So this one is James Malloy 2 and this one is James Malloy 3. As you can see, they're more of like a pinky and mauvey shade and then more of like a neutral brown. I feel like I need to swatch these. Like, they are so pretty. Oh my God. Look at this color payoff. This is the number three palette. Oh my God. Let's give it a little swatch it, swatch it. These are stunning. Oh my God. That is some pigment, babes. That is some pigment. That is one swipe of those shades. Oh my gosh. I was actually surprised by this one. It has more of like a green shift to it, which is really unique, but this chocolate brown shade is giving. It's giving. Okay, let's watch the other one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm shook. Wow, wow, wow. So this one is, I feel like maybe less, a little bit less pigmented than the number three. I also did a really bad job of swatching these, but I am kind of drawn to this color scheme a little bit more. This this light pink shade is so bright like crazy bright sorry i ended up swatching into my knuckles which was really stupid of me but this shade is 
gorgeous for an inner corner. I think I'm gonna use that one. You guys know me, I'm more of like a one and done eyeshadow girly, so I think I'm just gonna use two shades here. I could see myself traveling with these and just being like, okay, I have everything here. It also comes with a mirror. So I'm gonna go in with this brownish shade here. That's pigment. And just buff it in all over the lid and into the crease for like a neutral everyday brown. That was one dip into that. And it just covered my entire eye. Okay. They weren't playing around with this. They were not playing around with this palette. You wanna be careful because if you're not someone who's used to playing with eyeshadows, these are gonna be very intense. But if you are, if you are into eyeshadow or you have a good experience with eyeshadows, you're gonna love these. That's just like a really nice neutral brown all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with another brush and use this light pink shade as my inner corner because I was shook by it. She bright. She bright. It also has a little bit of chunky glitter. That would be a really beautiful kind of like topper shade. That is so pretty. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I've got two options for mascara. We have the False Flash Lash Mascara and the Uber Volume Boost Velvet Mascara. Let's check out these wands and see what we're working with. The first one being the False Flash Lash Mascara. This is in the shade Cosmic Black. Whoa. This is the tiniest, tiniest mascara wand I've ever seen. I am intrigued. I'm intrigued by that. It's a synth synthetic wand with a really, really, really tiny bristle. That is the Flash False Lash. This one is the Uber Volume Boost. Maybe I'll use both. I'm crazy. All right, that's what I'm talking about. This is a really fat, natural bristle wand, all one shape, all one length. I'm gonna start with the little wand and then sort of feather out with this one and see how it looks. My lash lift is completely worn off, so we'll see how well this kind of curls them. Wow, this is a tiny, tiny, tiny little wand. It definitely adds quite a bit of volume to the lashes, and I'm hoping that the other one will lengthen. See all that? It really offers a lot of base volume, especially. A trick that I'm sure you know with mascara is to wait until it has completely dried and then flake it off. Works like a charm every time. You do have to look stupid for a couple minutes though. Okay, that's very pretty. This is the Flash False one coat. Now let's go in with the Uber Volume Boost and see if we can get some more separation. Very, very pretty. I will say these are not tubing mascaras. So these are gonna come off with water and soap as a normal mascara would. But because this finish is more matte down here, I'm not as worried about them flaking. But I still may add a more translucent powder under the eyes in the future when using these. But they are very fluttery, very pretty, and very, very black, which I love. I think it just depends on if you're more of a synthetic wand kind of person or a natural bristle wand. But if you like a natural bristle wand, that Uber Volume one has a beautiful, beautiful wand. They also sent these Super Brow Angled Shaping Pencil. I have yet to try this. This is in the shade Hot Coffee, and it's made in Germany. It is a dual-sided, kind of pointed, but fatter shaped waxy pencil with a spoolie on the other side, which I freaking love. I think this will work very well for people who have thicker brows like I do, but it also gives you the option to use the more thin side for hair-like strokes and the thicker side to fill in just overall sparse areas, which is what I like to do because there are some areas in my brow that I just want a little bit of a shadow behind it. And then there are areas like in the front where I would much prefer to have more hair-like strokes. So this kind of lets you have both. And with the spoolie, you can make sure everything is blended afterwards, which I really like. This shade is perfect for me too. It's like a nice, neutral, more cool toned brown. If I get too warm in my brows, it just doesn't look right. It doesn't match the rest of my hair. Very, very nice. To me, a standard brow gel or a brow pencil that works, looks good, isn't too pigmented, doesn't leave like a shine to your brows. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for a lot in this life and this definitely gives me that. Very happy with that. I'm just gonna add a clear brow gel on top and then we're gonna finish up with the lips. Oh, uh, so excited. Okay, the piece de resistance, although I will say, I already said this was my favorite item in this haul, but I have another one that is equally as good that I want to talk about, which like, first of all, of course, it's a highlighter and a lip product. like. 
that's what makes a look to me. Something can be like not right, just like something is not right about a look, whether it's too matte or too something. When you find the right lip product or the right highlighter for a look, it can pull everything together. So I have two things to talk about today, but we're only gonna use one because I wanna talk about how much I freaking love it. First up is their Sheer Balmy Lipsticks, which are just absolutely perfect. This matches the blush that we have on today perfectly. Like if you wanted a pairing of a perfect nudie face, I would say get the Luminizing Wand, get the blush in Bare Blush, and then get this shade in Nude Blush from their Sheer Lip Line. Like, it is almost a perfect match and it gives you this beautiful sheer flush on the lips. It's stunning. It's so, so, so beautiful. I like to wear this for every day. When I was doing my friend's makeup for her possible wedding look, I used this on her and she looked amazing. So if you are looking for that perfect flush of a nude cheek and a nude lip combo, this is it. It is a wedding day lip product. It's stunning. But something that I wanna draw attention to that I feel like should be viral in some capacity is their Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oils. I own almost every shade that they make because I love them that much, but I wanna talk about two shades specifically today. One that I've tried and one that I haven't. Imported from Italy, the Supercharged Lip Oil gives a sheer kiss of color, shiny balm, hydrating finish, non-sticky. One of the best shades that they make, in my opinion, is this Nude in Nude Nectar. Everything about this, the packaging, the doe foot, the shades that they've chosen to create are just perfection. They give you just a hint of color. They feel so nourishing and moisturizing to the lips. They kind of feel like a pillowy finish to the lips with a beautiful shine and no stickiness. But the new shade that they sent me is in Plum Naked and I'm just feeling like I have to try this. I feel like it's going to match this blush shade absolutely perfectly. I also think it would look really pretty over this lipstick we just talked about, but I want to try this one on its own today. I'm so excited. Mm -mm -mm, they feel so good. Okay, that's done. I wish I could properly explain how good these feel on the lips, but you're just gonna have to buy one and try it because it feels like it's protecting your lips with like this external layer of a pillowy cushion while also like going into your lips and giving it hydration. It completely covers all of the lines in your lips and make them look absolutely flawless with this hint of color and because they are translucent base glosses they don't have like a white base to them they will work on every single skin tone which i absolutely love i just want to rub my lips together all day long it makes them look like they have been infused with collagen hence the wonder gloss collagen lip oils this may be my new favorite shade oh my god so freaking good if you're gonna pick up anything from this video you already know you already know is this or is this the perfect nude face of makeup? We've achieved it, we've achieved it. Anytime that I wear this combination of colors together, which is like mauve nudes, plum berries, and browns, I get so many questions on them. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Thank you again to Beauty Pie for sponsoring this video. I had so much fun trying these products. Again, I do have a code with Beauty Pie, so if you want $10 off of your first annual membership, you can use the code Rudy sent me. I will put it up on the screen. I'll also have links to all of these products down below. If you have questions about any of these products or Beauty Pie in general, how I like my membership, just questions, let me know. I am always available to chat with you guys, either on my Instagram DMs or in the comments below. I will be applying my Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip oils for the remainder of the day and I will see you guys in the next video really soon.